Why hello there, and welcome back to Technophobia. Today, we're entering the second stage of Fear Castle. Let's go. It's, uh, pretty dark in here. But, one thing to note here is that there actually is no enemies. The only thing you have to be afraid of is, well, drowning, I suppose. This section here acts as a uh, kind of maze where there's multiple paths that you can go. And uh, some paths lead to dead ends. Other paths will lead to little pools that allow you to go further. Now saying that, it's not that difficult of a maze. You just gotta know which hallway to take. And there's really usually an option of one or two hallways to go. Like right here, right? Dead end, but there's a pool which will help us because if I didn't take that, I probably would have drowned heading further in. In fact, this is the only other time you're gonna see this uh, drowning mechanic in this game. And hey, it's over now. We can get out of here. Come on. Here we are. The music here is somber as all heck too. It's weird. Insert coins to continue. Interesting. Now, I wonder if that actually leads to something if we actually... We'll, we'll get to that later. Right now we got nice flowers. And if you recall... The poems always... What the heck? Okay. Well, anyway, if you recall, the poems always mentioned uh, flowers or in a flower field, on, at least on the screen. So this is that screen. More or less. This is the actual stage 2 to uh, Fear Castle. Or Fear Fortress if we're going to go with the Mega Man analogy here. And this level is uh, kind of tough. But only tough because of these uh, blood spitting uh, abscess as they're called. It's a pretty neat callback to uh, Mega Man levels at least when it comes to that bird. Instead of shooting out the little tiny birds, it's just eyes that shoot little meteors at you, which you have to dodge. Then you got this guy here, I think it's called Mother. Doesn't move, just shoots little balls at you that you can destroy and uh, move forward. And this level's really a weird contrast, uh, considering all the other stages in this game were somewhat grim and dark. And then we come to the penultimate stage of the game, and uh, all of a sudden it's all happy and light. The music's slightly cheerful and all that. But it still has enemies that you'd find in a more grim, dark game. It's a weird contrast. Alright, so this was probably a mistake on my part here. Nope, oh, darn it. So, the app says here has a little med hats just like the lesions did. And once you bring down, you can't actually kill the, uh, med hat. So if you take the guy down to his last thing where all he'll do is fire at the lowest level, you can't actually, oh, wow. You can't actually kill him. <laughs> and making that little segment... Uh, pretty tough to get through. If you can survive it at all. So I think here we get a better idea of how to handle this. Just brute force your way in, because that's the only way this is going to work. Now, of course, this uh, stage does split off. You can go down, or you can go right. In right is actually the better path because all you have to deal with is um, these guys here, and that's it, really. If you get on the bottom path, you get more abscesses, which is just the towers of crap that spits blood all over the place, and you have to dodge and platform around them. Well, this is just a straight path.
Ugh. Those guys are- those eyes are annoying because they continuously fire. It's not slow either. They fire quite quickly. And this is where we would have ended up had we uh, taken the other path. I think the other path would have split the one room to the left of us. But due to the fact that we came in from the uh, right, we actually can't exit the room the way we were supposed to. So I think I kind of bugged it out there. Alright, so what's next? Nothing much, I suppose, just these guys again. And done. I wonder what this stage is supposed to represent, in all honesty, here. Oh, check this guy out. <laughs> That's right, it's not a Mega Man game without a, uh, Yellow Devil homage or reference in some manner. Meet Saint Yellow. Uh, what you've basically seen is all he does. He's kind of rough, uh, when he switches like this. Really, that's the hardest part of this fight. You can dodge the little meters he tosses at you pretty easily. And uh, you can duck everything except the very bottom rings that come out. So once you know there's no more bottom rings, you can just stay down below and you'll be fine. And there we go. So let's head back into the castle and go straight down. Alright, so this is it. This is the final hallway leading up to the game's last boss. Are you guys ready to face off against whatever fear we got? What have you accomplished? Do you not realize that you are but a man? That all your destruction and protest has only slowed the inevitable? The cause of your fear has only been concealed. Look at yourself, Luddite. You are mortal, condemned to decay into dust and scrap metal. I am no different, and I accept this. I am not afraid. So if you have decided my hour has come, I will not object. But neither will I go down without a fight. That's enough. Kill him, my child. Alright, so this is Thanatophobia. A pretty interesting boss, uh, the fact that he's kind of annoying. But I do like that um, he does bring in Aquaphobia with Tapophobia as a combination instead of a straight up brief fight. Look, you're shaking. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Now, this boss is kind of easy as long as you follow what I'm doing here. Essentially, uh, the balls that he fires, two will only ever show up on the top part of the screen. So if you time it right, you can uh, dodge them at all times when they come in like we're doing here. But the bigger problem with this fight and what makes it kind of tedious is um, the Netophobia's teleportation. He will very rarely come up to meet us on the level we're on. Oh, there we go. But it's the only real way to get at him without actually taking a brick ton of damage. And essentially, we just stay on the right upper platform like we're at, and we wait for the to teleport within range of our weapon and then hit him. Doing that and avoiding his balls is how you defeat this boss. Now, once he brings out uh, the Aquaphobia Tapophobia combo a second time, and you defeat it for the second time, he actually speeds up the fight here. He comes up a lot more often sometimes, but he'll also come in a lot closer to you where you can't really avoid his uh, blade attack like that. But this is the way you want to do this fight. Yes, he stays in the lower half of the screen a lot of the times, 
But you're in for a world of pain if you stay down there because that place shoots balls all over the place down there. There he goes. And that is the end of Technophobia, a game by Unpleasant Past. All in all, this is a really interesting Mega Man fan game. I like what it does with a bunch of the fears. I don't like how absurdly difficult this game can be in certain places, especially if you do it on anything other than, um, gentle. Now, story-wise, really, there's no story. It doesn't require one. You don't get a happy and you don't get to know what happens to our good friend, the Nameless Hero there. We don't even know why he was fighting these guys like he was. All you had to know is that we had to fight the four Fear Masters, get through Fear Fortress, and defeat Thanatophobia. And plus you get the names of all these characters now. All in all, it was a really enjoyable experience, especially once I can actually get it back down to a level I can beat it on. <laughs> Orphanim. We never get the name of the bird that shoots the Orphanim out though, do we? And Thanatophobia's horse looks a little dorky. But that's all I can say to that. So anyway, this has been uh, Technophobia. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a fun little run. And, uh, well, I guess I'll just catch you uh, next game. Bye. Oh wait, there's a little extra. And we get new title screen music, it's freaking awesome. However, I won't be doing grim mode because you start out with half health and the enemies do a lot more damage to you than they did in any other mode. Frankly, I won't be able to beat that, so we're not going to try it. So this is a... <laughs> so thanks for watching again for the re for reals this time. And I'll... See you later.